আপনারা দেখছেন ব্যাকাই নিউজ প্লিজ সাবস্ক্রাইব আওয়ার চ্যানেল অ্যান্ড ক্লিক অন দ্য বেল আইকন I think it's honor to welcome Mr. Simon Topol to Calcutta and I feel very honored that he accepted our uh, invite and he came to Calcutta for an event which was hosted uh, by Silverhook Estate uh, Residential Complex in Bajalha and that event was Silverhook Estate Premier Critique which was a two day day and night affair and uh, Mr. Topol came I spent a good two, three hours there and you know, just a mere presence in the event. So over to you, Simon. Uh, I apologize for being a little bit late and uh, really great to see you all here and thank you very much for coming. It's always great to be back in India. I really love coming here. I love the people, I love the passion for cricket and the cultural heritage that this country offers. So it's really special to be back in Calcutta again. I think the last time that I might have been here might have been maybe an IPL final in 2013. I think uh, that might have been Sachin's last tournament too, perhaps, and I think the Mumbai Indians on that day were successful over the Chennai Super Kings. So for me, the, the cultural heritage, the cricket, the people is always quite special to be back to India, so it's really lovely to be here. Not only was I here to sort of see and participate in a local cricket tournament yesterday, but I'm also very passionate about the training and education around India. And one other thing that I'll do on this trip is to do a keynote at the IIT Karakpur and to be able to talk to the next generation of engineers, doctors, lawyers perhaps, very dear thing close to my heart having just come out of Australia and watching some of the magnificent test series that's been happening there and spending time with some of the Australian public but also particularly some members that I'm familiar with in the Indian cricket team. And that's been wonderful too. So I'm happy to, to take some questions and to give you some insight perhaps into anything you'd like to know about it. The floor is yours. So I, I don't know about that one decision, as I said, I never saw it. But um, all I would say on that point is, is that there are lots of decisions that players make, and by and large, we get them all right, most of the time. But Simon, uh, your job on this day was to, was to check the conduct of the players on the field. But the way K.L. Rahul and uh, Hardik Pandya, they have uh, made loose comments on the show. So do you think that this sort of conduct the board should I knew this question was going to come up, and I thought it was going to come up. Look, what I would say in every team and in every business and every sport is that good people make a good team, and that we all make mistakes from time to time, and we all learn as we go. And although I, I didn't see the interview and I didn't see the show, I read a little bit of press about some of the complaints. I've made plenty of mistakes in my career and I've learned along the way. These players may have made some mistakes with some of the things that they've said, but they too will learn. And I think all the other players and all the other people that have seen this event will also learn from that. So I think we need to be really careful about being overly critical um, and that people do make mistakes. But if we learn from that and we are genuine about wanting to do better and commit to doing better, then that's a good thing. So even though like the first ball of a game you might make a mistake, you've still got the rest of your day to get through. These players have still got the rest of their career to get through. And I'm sure they've got some good people around them and some good advice. And I'm sure they will come out of this okay and they will get through it. And if they're genuine and they learn from that, I think they'll become... So I think it's really important that we have a philosophy where umpires still umpire. And they still do their job. Does that make sense? Yeah. One of the other things that you know about 
look, um, the, the, the players, the players are responsible for the game that they play. You know, and if they do the right thing, there's no problems. Whether that's accepting the umpire's decision, whether that's playing fair, or whether it's not tampering the ball. You know, if they're doing the right thing, we're not having these types of conversations. But you know, player behaviour and the way that people play the game is a team issue. It's not an umpiring issue. Player behaviour belongs with the captain, it belongs with the team. And I think you're seeing in this Australian team that there is a, a renewed focus on playing hard and playing fair. And I think that if they play that way, then we're not having this type of conversation. If every player does the right thing, if every captain leads by example, if every team takes responsibility for the behaviour of its players, it means less paperwork for umpires, it means less publicity around people doing the wrong thing. So each person needs to look at themselves and say, am I doing this the right way? Am I really adding value to the game? Am I playing the game in the right way? If they do that, then most of our problems go away. What do you think, what is the best format for the students, test cricket format or the T20 format? Well look, for me, test cricket is the ultimate. You know, it provides the most challenge. It's a test physically, but more particularly for umpires, it's a test mentally. 30, 30 hours of cricket, 15 sessions, different conditions on every day, backing up, you know, hour after hour, the stamina required, the mental skills required. It, it's the ultimate for me, but I think also too, the shorter forms of the game have a role to play. That they bring in new people, they introduce women particularly, yeah, the young girls love to see the T20 cricket. Uh, it brings in a lot more mums and a lot more parents into the game. And I think that's good because hopefully then they will come and play other forms of the game. So I think what's really important that you've got what I call fast food cricket, which is the T20. You know, it's, it's quick, it's relatively cheap. You can consume it pretty quickly. And then you've got the longer form of the game, which is a bit like a three course dinner, if you like, when you go out to a restaurant. And that's quite special, and it's quality, and it's got different turns and twists, and you never quite know which way it's going to end up, and it finds out what you're made of. Back Eye News. Please subscribe our channel and click on the bell icon.